Welcome to Cybertech Arena. In this video, we will explore the top 10 ethical hacking tools in Kali Linux for 2025. On our number 10, we have Nmap. Nmap is still the king of network reconnaissance. With its improved script support in 2025, Nmap's automation for detecting vulnerabilities on large network is more powerful than it ever. So, this is Nmap. Number 9 we have Metasploit, with its new modules for IoT and SCADA exploitation, still the go-to framework for exploit development and post-exploitation. The interface of Metasploit framework, so you just go to search exploit, it's going to bring out lots of exploits that Metasploit framework have. You can choose the one you want to use in your simulation. For example, you can choose the number, whatever number you choose there, you just type use and you put the number, just like the way I'm going to do. So let's say I choose this uh, 3138, whatever number you choose, you're free to choose any number there. So type use 3138 so when it's open after that what you need to do is set your options the options are mostly go to option the options are mostly IP that you're trying to test up right so like you see the arrows but the IP you're trying to test up number eight we have web suites web application security is only growing no website remains unmatched in intercepting and manipulating HTTP traffic. 2025 extensions using AI dictations make it smarter and faster. So, this is the interface of web suites. Okay, so here we have the target proxy the intruder the repeater so here in the proxy if you want to intercept the packet uh, you're going to turn on the intercept so i'll be making full videos so if you haven't uh, subscribed to any of my membership all these tools i mentioned here i'll be pulling down how to use the tools in my membership plan those who are subscribed to my membership plan at number seven we have wireshark packet sniffing is foundational that it's analyzing malware or supporting clear text password. Wireshark is your digital microscope. So this is the interface of Wireshark. So here you can choose anywhere, any network you want to Sniff at right. So, uh, disclaimer please, this video is for educational purpose. Uh, any information in this video should not be used, misused. So you can either sniff on T0 or you can just do it here on any, right? At number 6, we have Evil Genex. Man in the middle fishing framework now bypasses the latest web a protection. Red demons is a must have for advanced fishing simulation. So, just like here, I've made a full video on Evil Gene X, so I will link it down in the description below. So, check it out. At number 5, we have Lean Peace and Win Peace. Privilege escalation and post exploitation the best. Updated regularly with new Linux and Windows as configuration checks. So this is how you install Linping and the WinP. WinP is uh, Linux and WinP is Windows. Right? This is how to use it. WinP dash H. So it's going to bring out the help you need to check out this tool. I encourage you to go check it out. Just learn it and put it into your 
politics and use it ethically. At number four, we have Blood Hunt. Red teams love it, and the blue teams fear it. Maps active directory relationships and reveals the path to domain dominance. 2025 updates at three time graph analysis. So just check the tools out. You can see when you already use this command, make sure to use the sudo blood on uh, the setup. It's very necessary. So this is the browser where you, you're going to navigate to the, uh, the location. Then you log in with your credentials. Okay, you just check it out. Metacap comes at number three. From man in the middle of that to Wi Fi hacking, these tools does it all. The latest version is optimized for no resource system, even supports mobile man in the middle framework. So these are the things you can do uh, the Wi Fi uh, network scanning. We also have the Bluetooth low energy device scanning. We have the 2.4G GHz wireless device scanning and mouse jacking attack with the HDI framework. Uh, you also have the passive and active IP network host probing, the ARP DNS. A whole lot of things you have here. It's a powerful network sniffer for credential harvesting. It's a very fast port scanner, powerful rest. API support and you really need to check these tools out right you practice with it ethically so to install it you use the command sudo apt install betacab so to use it betacab dash h h always implies dash help for the newbies right so it's just a, a good tool you use it there's a whole lot you can do with that number two is trust scan lightning fast port scanner combine it with nmap for the ultimate reconnaissance combo 2025 speed matters more than ever so it's just like so this is what it looks like uh, i'm going to teach you how to install it so for those who are finding it difficult to install so to install it just go to your google search for rot scan so you choose the one with the BSAN, um, the one with the modern port scanner, you choose that. So you scroll down to releases. So here you choose the one with the .deb, the one with .db, you're going to have a file like this. So what you, you open terminal here. So when the terminal is open, paste this command um, ls this is the name of your file uh, so this command includes the name of that file sudo dpkg-i you see the raw scan is the file you downloaded so when you hit enter it's going to ask for your sudo password you input your sudo password and let it do a thing so it's done now Type rot scan. Let's see if it's installed. When you type rot scan, you're going to see. So it needs you to put the right argument. As you can see, rot scan is properly installed. So rot scan dash h is help. So you go through. This is how to use it. All right? You can put the IP that you want to scan, the network you want to scan, and put it there. Just like that and it's going to scan all right number one we have AI assisted hacking integrations for Kali Linux less ethical hackers get real time help with scripting payloads and recon strategy the future isn't just command line it's smart command line to connect an AI um, thing to your Kali you go to that little uh, repo GitHub slash just follow what I'm doing. All right, you click on the code, you copy, and go to your terminal. When you use the git clone, and you paste the link you copied. It's 
so I already have it that's why it says already existing and it's not empty so when I ls we're going to see the tgpt so let's uh, cd into that directory so cd tgpt so let's ls again so my install has it's already blue so for yours it's going to be white so to make it blue like mine that's executable you use the command chmod plus x then you put the file name and put the install that's how i made mine executable so you can make yours like that so you hit enter so i won't do that i already did that so let's ls after you've done it, you ls to see that it's blue now, meaning it's executable. So this is how to use it. TG PTH, which is the help command. So you can do a whole lot of things that you use ChatGPT for. For example, you can generate pictures, you can ask anything, you can use it for shell command. That's how uh, good AI is to even the cybersecurity community. So TGP, TGPT, sorry for that, dash S, which is the shell. So I could ask any question. Like the first one I did was how to turn on Metasploit framework. And it did it, and I, all I just needed was here. So you can do a whole lot with this. It's unimaginable. Please use everything in this video ethically. So let's ask another question. So let's say how to start a server something like that on my machine so you just watch what's actually going as you can see it said if it should it gave me the command and just all i just needed was y which is yes and it's going to run up a server for me in my box so you can ask any question see how good it is for the blue teamers for the red teamer you can ask any question so you don't need to hop here and there just for ai to assist you you can do it right in your terminal so please uh for those who would like to join my membership the link is also in the description below please join uh, we have a lot of things going on out there right i'll be active this time so i'll be ending the video here peace out